Hello, I'm going to share with you my favorite products for anyone new to Norwex. It's our Safe Haven 5, or some people like to call it our Fab 5, and it includes our Enviro cloth, our window cloth, cleaning paste, the dust mitt, and laundry detergent. But before I go into that, I want to talk about why I switched, right? So I grew up cleaning like most of us, right? Chemical cleaning. And to me, if something was clean, I could smell the clean. Whether it was the smell of bleach or the smell of pine, I knew that I was walking into a clean home. What I didn't know at the time until just recently is that all of those scents and things that I was smelling were actually toxins in the cleaning products. So these products that are chemical cleaners, which is the first way to clean, chemical cleaning, they contain just about every single product out there contains some level of harmful chemicals to human health and growth and development. So for example, the ingredients that some may contain are phosphates, phthalates, parabens, BPA, we've all heard of BPA, right? And uh, carcinogens such as formaldehyde. But when looking at a label on a cleaning product, it's hard to understand what some of those chemicals stand for, what some of the acronyms stand for. The problem with these chemicals that are in our products, and in the United States, there are about 86,000 toxic chemicals currently in use in cleaning products and in personal care products. Of the 86,000 chemicals currently in use, only 200 have ever been tested for their effects on human health. And of the 200 tested, only 11 passed. It's so sad. And in the United States, we do things a little bit differently here. We evaluate, uh, like the FDA or EPA evaluates these toxic chemicals once they've been in use and caused health to, to cause issues to human health or growth development, things like that. Where in many other countries, these chemicals are tested well in advance of ever getting approval to be used in products, which is why if you just take a cereal box, right, that is sold here in the United States, the exact same cereal that's sold in Europe, for example, ours will have 10 to 15 more chemicals in it. Things like red and yellow dyes and all of that and the preservatives, where in other countries, those chemicals and those components, they're already banned. So you might see things like natural flavoring or dried strawberries versus the red number of whatever. And so things are done a little bit backwards here in the United States, which causes a lot of problems. So in the last 50 years, we've in America gone from a cancer rate of one in 8,000 to one in three. And for women, it's one in two, according to the American Cancer Society. Now, why is that? It's probably because women tend to use more products, whether it's cleaning products or personal care products. I know my side of the bathroom sink has always had a ton more stuff than my husband. So we are exposing ourselves to these chemicals more frequently, which is why in most cases, our cancer rate is much higher being one and two. It's really sad. So there's three ways to clean. The first way is chemical cleaning. That's the way I grew up, right? If you smelled pine or bleach, you knew it was clean, or at least we thought it was, right? And then there's thermal cleaning, and that's where you use steam or high heat. Think of like a carpet cleaner or a um, one of the mops that uses steam to clean. The problem with thermal cleaning is that steam has to sit on the surface for 60 seconds to actually kill any bacteria that's present. So that doesn't make a very um, a very wise choice for cleaning the whole home because it would take us forever. Now, the third way to clean is physical cleaning or mechanical cleaning. And that's where we physically remove what's on the surface without the use of any harmful chemicals. And we use primarily at Norwex, the Enviro cloth, which is the first item in the Safe Haven 5. 
And all of our cloths are marked with this nice little hang tag. This says Enviro. I like to thank E for everything. And this cloth also has something that we find very special at Norwex, which is our backlock technology. The backlock is micro silver that's embedded into the cloth to physically destroy bacteria. So when I'm cleaning with an Enviro cloth and I want to use a damp Enviro cloth when cleaning, I like to fold it in half and fold it in half again. That gives me eight clean sides. When I clean with the Enviro cloth, the tiny little fibers have channels in them which physically pick up and create a capillary effect when we're cleaning. So we can remove grease, grime, dirt, and 99% of bacteria. And once that bacteria is in our cloth, the micro silver will go to work to penetrate the cell wall of the bacteria and render it helpless. So the Enviro cloth is how we got started 27 years ago. It is very special. It has super tiny fibers. Traditional microfiber, like this one, has the size of that fiber is one sixth of a human hair. So it's still pretty small, right? But the Norwex Enviro cloth is much more superior it is one two hundredth of a human hair, so really tiny. And then all of those little fibers have channels to clean. Now I can clean just about every surface of my home with an Enviro cloth and just water. I get a clean like I've never got before, and it's easy. I'm not lugging around a bunch of a bunch of cleaning products. I like pairing my Enviro cloth with our window cloth. The window cloth is also a microfiber cloth, but the weave is much smoother and tighter. It's kind of a slick cloth, and this is for polishing to a streak-free shine. So after I clean with the Enviro cloth, if I'm cleaning shiny surfaces like a window, a mirror, uh, faucets, things like that, stainless granite, then I follow with my dry window cloth to get a streak-free shine. Let me show you how that works. So just taking like uh, windows or mirrors, for example, I'm just gonna use this piece of butter and get this all yucky. Now, when I used to clean with chemicals, I would use any popular window cleaner, give it a few sprays, grab my rags or paper towels, and start cleaning. The problem was I was just spreading it around and then I could often see the residue, if not right after I was done, as soon as the sun would shine in. The problem is that rags and paper towels are of a cotton fiber and they don't physically absorb all of that debris and the dirt and they certainly don't remove bacteria. So let's get this dirty again. And how I clean now is with my damp and viro cloth. So I can use this on any surface. We'll just use this as an example. And I take that right over the area and I, it's pulling it into those tiny fibers. And I physically removed everything off the surface. The problem is this is a shiny surface, right? And I don't want streaks. So I'm gonna grab my window cloth and the window cloth also has our back lock in it, which is the micro silver. And the micro silver in the window cloth also physically destroys any bacteria that I've collected and it physically removes bacteria in the cloth. It's kind of hard to do that to the side, but look how nice that is. Super clean, no streaks, no residue. I may need a new mirror. <laughs> I've been using that one for years. So that's our Enviro cloth and our window cloth. And the two together are great. I've completely stopped buying and using products like this, which contain a lot of those chemicals I talked about in the beginning. Now, another product that I love to use, which is in our Safe Haven 5, is the dust mitt. The dust mitt is my go-to for dusting shelves, windows, um, you know, picture frames, tops of door frames, you, anything that needs dusted. Ceiling fans, and I love it because it's like a magnet. And you put a charge in it before you use it. That's what I was just doing. You rub it on itself, which creates the static charge. And I don't have any dust in here, but I'm gonna put a little bit of move you guys a little bit of 
uh, chili powder on my board here. And I'll show you just how easy it is to use a dust mitt. And it will physically grab all of that debris that's on there. Now that stays in my dust mitt until I dust it off. So it's not gonna come off, it's not gonna go anywhere, which is great if you're cleaning a surface like a ceiling fan over a bed. The dust isn't going to fall on your bedspread. So the dust mitt is great. I like cleaning mine off with our rubber brush, which I may have one right here. So here's our rubber brush. And if you don't have a rubber brush, you can rub this together again, bang it on the side of your house. And, and I use the rubber brush to physically remove the dust that I've collected right into the trash can. Now I don't have a trash can in front of me, so that had to do, but I only have to wash this every so often. It doesn't stain, it's just fantastic. And I have a lot of customers who really love the dust mint because they're also able to eliminate the purchasing and use of furniture polish, which can be very pricey and also um, contains a lot of the chemicals that I talked about earlier. So when we're spraying those chemicals in our home, um, we're breathing those chemicals in, which causes problems in our endocrine system, it leads to things like cancer or growth and development issues in children. Children are 65 times more uh, vulnerable to the chemicals we're using in the home. And if you think about it, our the younger generation today is sicker than our grandparents. It's because they're exposed to so many of these toxic chemicals. Now, another product that I love to use out of the Safe Haven 5 is our cleaning paste. The cleaning paste is in this little tub. One tub will last me three to five years. It's like a hard, almost like a hard baby powder consistency. It's definitely not baby powder though. It is uh, made of marble flour, coconut oil, and natural soap. Now I use the cleaning paste on my tough jobs. So if I have soap scum or black marks on the walls or my kids' new sneakers are getting ruined after the first day of school, um, I can use this to quickly clean. I've also used this on other things. I've been very careful. I'll use it on tarnished brass, tarnished silver, tar tarnished copper, and it works wonders. I will show you real quick what it's capable of and how to use it. So I'm just gonna write Norwex on this tile. And this is a Sharpie, right? So we all know that can leave a real mess, right? So how we use the cleaning paste is you wanna get a damp Norwex cloth. I prefer using my Enviro cloth. And since this is hard, it doesn't become a paste until we use a damp cloth with it. So now I have a swipe. There's 8,000 swipes in one container. So one container will last you three to five years which is great because all of those other products that we tend to buy, they only last a few months, if that. So I put a lot of, lot of Sharpie on here. So I'm gonna get one more little swipe. You get that nice and clean. I even have a friend who was, look how nice. And there we go, now I see it better. So it's easy to use. We don't need to wash the surface when we're done. You can use it on a variety of surfaces. I have boys, so I like going around the house and getting black marks off of the walls. We know that <laughs> we get a lot of those with kids or grandkids, right? And so the cleaning paste is just amazing for all of those little drops. Also used it on soap scum and the black ring in the toilet, which can be really tough to get. It works wonders on that. So now I'm gonna talk about how to take care of your Norwex and our laundry detergent. So Norwex is super easy to take care of. You want to rinse it daily, wash it weekly. And when you rinse it daily, um, like so today after this video, I'm gonna rinse this out and you put it under a faucet with warm or hot water and you press agitate and rinse. And when you're agitating the fibers it with the warm water, it opens the fibers up so that anything you've collected will go down the drain. 
And then you take the little hang tag and you hang your cloth to dry. So it's going to you know, dry it between uses, between big cleaning jobs. And as it's drying, the micro silver goes to work to destroy any bacteria you've collected. So a lot of times I'll go around the house, especially with COVID and things like that. I'll go around the house. I'll use this on my doorknobs, my light switches, of remote controls, you name it. So not just counters and windows and things, but literally everything. Keyboards, just really lightly uh, rub this along those and picks up any debris and the bacteria. And then, so we're rinsing it daily and then we want to wash it weekly. When you wash your Norwex, you want to wash it with a good filler-free laundry detergent. You never want to use bleach and you never want to use fabric softener. So bleach can degrade the fabric um, very quickly and fabric softener leaves a coating on our fibers and our clothes in general that is not only pretty toxic but will also degrade the quality of the fabric. And we don't want all those harmful chemicals being put into the cloth. So if you, when you're washing it, you wanna use a good laundry detergent. I use Norwex exclusively, and you wanna look for a laundry detergent that has no fillers. So for example, this has uh, no phosphates, no sulfates, no chlorine bleach, no optical brighteners, no animal testing, no dyes, no fragrances. So it's really wonderful for babies or anyone with sensitive skin, but it's extremely powerful. And because there are no fillers in it, there are no um, additives. You only need a tiny amount when you do your wash. I use a teaspoon per load in my high efficiency washing machine. And before my high efficiency, I had just a regular washing machine and I used a tablespoon per load. And a mom of boys, sports, grandma, babe, you know, I have a granddaughter who's in cloth diapers. This does wonders. And this is what a filler free. I'm shaking it so you know there's soap in there. This is what a filler free laundry detergent looks like. You can almost see me through it, right? And so it's there's nothing in it that's going to clog your fibers. It's just the cleaning solution itself. Now I used to use a very popular laundry detergent. I'm not going to say the name, but this is a little bit of the laundry detergent I used to use. I no longer use this and only Norwex because this and most liquid laundry detergents, the number one, the number one preservative is formaldehyde. So I don't know about you, but I don't want that stuff on my clothes. And after leaving this sit in the jar for a little bit, it starts to collect on the bottom. So that's that formaldehyde and animal fat preservative. And it's blue. So I never would think twice about washing my clothes in a blue or orange laundry detergent. Now it makes complete sense to me why I don't want to. So that formaldehyde is a carcinogen. Carcinogens have been proven to cause cancer. So when we wash our clothes with a chemical cleaner like this that is being deposited on our clothes, we get our clothes out of the dryer, put the clothes on our body or on our kids' bodies, and the formaldehyde is then absorbed into their skin, into our skin within 26 seconds is all it takes to go through your skin and down into your vital organs. We also don't wanna use fabric softener on our Norwex, but fabric softener, this is the one I used to use, is very toxic to our uh, breathing, to our respiratory system. Fabric softener and dryer sheets contain something called Vox, volatile organic compounds. And when they, and there's so many fragrances, synthetic fragrances, unnatural fragrances added to the product to make us think it smells great, but it also is covering up the smell of all the chemicals that are in it. And this coats our clothes in a film, which we might think feel makes it feel softer but when clothes are clean they're soft no matter what so the vox are volatile organic compounds when we use fabric softener dryer sheets and then our clothes go into the dryer the dryer is hot it heats up the vox the chemicals that are in fabric softener and it emits uh, harmful emissions into our home and into the air that then we breathe in. And according to the American Lung Association, 12.5% of US 
U.S. citizens or Americans have severe respiratory issues as a result of Vox. How crazy is that? I never knew. So all that time before Norwex, I thought, wow, that smells great. And I would even try to smell it more. What I was really breathing in were the chemicals. And when you're using a good laundry detergent that's chemical, that doesn't have any harmful chemicals in it, no fillers, no additives, your clothes will be soft. So that is, those are the five products in our Safe Haven 5. You can dramatically make over your cleaning routine with them, reduce the amount of harmful chemicals in our home. And when we use those chemicals, I mean, we don't know, right? When we use those chemicals, what happens is our body burden shoots up. They actually had to come up with a name for it. So the more chemicals we're using, the higher and higher our body burden gets. And when our body burden is really high, which means we're exposed to or absorbing more toxic chemicals than we can handle, the higher our body burden, the more health issues we will have. The more health issues babies and children will have. They tested the cord blood of a newborn baby and the baby had 287 toxic chemicals already in their system. That was passed on from the mother, uh, from cleaning and, and just different things like that. And 180 of those were known to cause growth and brain development issues. So very toxic stuff. Um, so the Safe Haven 5, just to recap, includes the Enviro cloth, the window cloth, the dust mitt, laundry detergent, and it also comes in liquid. I prefer the powder and the cleaning paste. And it is a great starter kit. And if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this.